Coffee Beans and Tea Leaves by James Fagu Fade In Interior, Peter's Car, Day Peter and Bill, 30s, sit in the front seats of Peter's car. Peter takes a sip of coffee from his metal thermos. You actually like that stuff? What stuff? Coffee. I'm a normal fucking American. Of course I like coffee. There are a few things that classify one as being an American. Drinking coffee is one of them. Let me guess. You like tea, don't you? Bill draws a breath. You probably put on an old fucking rerun of EastEnders drinking tea out of fine china with your pinky looking high up to the sky. Yeah. Wait, really? You really do all those things? No, I mean, I haven't seen an episode of EastEnders in a while. It is a good show, though. And I don't drink out of fine china with my pinky up. But I do like tea. Green tea with milk in it. That's my shit. Oh. Well, I must admit I do like green tea with milk, but... No, no, I'm, I'm an American. Fuck that. Fuck that. There's a pause, which Peter interrupts. And you said if I liked coffee, I don't do anything that I don't like. So, you like this, just waiting here. What? Like, you actually enjoy just sitting here waiting for John to finish monkeying around in there. Peter takes a deep sigh. <sighs> you know, you're right. This is fucking boring. We should get paid more for this. I mean, we're the getaway drivers, after all. The most important role in each and every heist. Matter of fact, I'm the getaway driver. What the fuck do you do on all these operations but just sit here and bug me about whether I like coffee or not? John said I was the brains, the knowledge of the team. Peter laughs in an obnoxious and clearly fake manner. That's a very unknowledgeable assessment. Yeah, whatever. There's another pause, interrupted by Peter. It's true, though. What is? The getaway driver. It's the most important role. Think about it in the driver, baby driver, Charlie Varick, the Italian job. Without a getaway driver, those movies would not have existed. And notice something else? All those movies had one getaway driver. It's just how it is. Not the Italian job. Well, that's made by them Brits. They do shit different. You wouldn't know, seeing you drink tea and all. Bill checks the stopwatch on his smartphone. Where is he? He's gone over by two minutes. You know what? Peter ignores Bill's remark. What? When John gets in the car, we both are going to demand he pays us more. We are. No more of this 10% bullshit. We get 30% each. But he's only going to agree if we both revolt. Two versus one. Or you could just not drive. I mean, you are the getaway driver after all. He's not going to be able to get away without you. Peter smiles. Bill, you're damn right. That's genius. Maybe you are the brains of this team after all. i got to be drinking more tea. 32-year-old John is approaching their car with a filled money satchel clutched in his hands. Peter sees him. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, no. John gets into the back seat. Drive. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Drive now. We want 30% of the profits. I'm not driving until then. Oh, yeah? John pulls a pistol out and points it into the side of Peter's head. Whoa. You ain't gonna shoot your getaway driver. Peter and Bill are visibly shaking. John cocks his gun. How confident are you? Peter, drive. Nope. Not until we get 30%. Boom. Is the sound as John shoots Peter in the side of the head. Blood splatters all over, mostly onto Bill. Drive. John says, pointing the gun to Bill this time. You signed a contract to not show any emotion ever, so drive! Okay, okay. He's in the driver's seat, though. Figure it out. Quick. John still has the pistol pointed at Bill. Oh, no. Okay. Cut to Interior Warehouse Day. Bill and John sit in a small and bare warehouse. In the middle of the room is a table with a satchel of cash that they'd just gotten from the bank. Peter's dry blood still caked on it and on their clothing. So, I'm the getaway driver now? Yep. But you said I was the brains of the team. Bill laughs hysterically, similar to how John did earlier. Yeah, you believed it too. John says through laughs, Hey, am I in the right place? Bill turns. Standing in the doorway is a 30-year-old man. Oh yeah, we got a new guy too. John approaches Charlie with a paper contract. Hey... You, my friend, are the new brains of our team. John says, trying to conceal a giggle. 
Charlie shrugs and signs John's paper contract. Bill looks forward in a disgruntled manner. Fade to black. <laughs>